What's up, YouTube? My name's Quickie. Welcome back to the channel. <laughs> we got stuff. We got stuff. Uh, all balls racing. I've got the uh, seal kits for the brakes are turned up, which is awesome. So we'll be getting into that later on. I've also got, um, what is it? I've got a start motor for the van. That should be arriving today. I've had a little chirpy message from a DPD driver saying, I'm on my way, you're going to get it. <laughs> so stuff is coming through. If you're ordering stuff online, even though everything's shut and the world's gone pot, stuff is coming. Uh, what else have we got? Oh, I've got some paint coming. I need to get some brake fluid, actually. Oh, I hadn't thought of that. Um, and I've also ordered um, a, a set of fork seals for this stupid thing. <laughs> And a fork seal drive, because I need one anyway. It's something I'm going to be pulling apart on a regular basis, hopefully. So, we got the ultrasonic bath out. <laughs> yeah. Um, and that is because I need to get into this lot. So, I've got these two sets of carbs, and I've been thinking this one through, and looking at differences and everything else. I also had a chat with Matt from the workshop. He's a gem, that fella. He cusses just as much off camera as he does on it blinding <laughs> i just wanted to pick his brains basically there are a few differences to these and i was grabbing about last night and i couldn't really find that much difference between us you know much information rather between cvr and cvk carbs and because that's what i've got here so this is the cvk and that is the cvr and if you look at them there are differences things like the rails that connect them together that's just the flat bar. This is cast. Um, the air fuel uh, mixture screws and stuff, they're done slightly different. Plus you've got these little nipples on for doing the float levels and stuff like that. But one of the other differences, TVR's got a throttle position sensor on them. This one doesn't, it's just blanked off. So it got, it got me thinking and I thought, right, who's going to know? Matt! <laughs> Matt, he knows everything. <laughs> we had a we had a really good natter actually. It's the first time I've physically spoken to the guy. Uh, he's he is diamond. Um, so as far as the throttle position sensor goes, it shouldn't really matter. It's not plugged into anything, and some goon has just cut the leads off anyway. Don't matter. I don't think there's anything to plug it into on that one. <laughs> but essentially, as we get it, uh, that's all just to do with you know. A, advancing retired ignition you know whatever it's an ecu thing if it ain't plugged into anything nothing's going to happen anyway um and this is just a mechanical thing there's no servos to it or any of that stuff so there's there's no control over the carbs based on what that sensor gives it gives the ecu so i reckon we'd be all right i might even have it off and see if i don't know i'll just leave it there <laughs> <laughs> and the kit i've got coming should fit for both of these so I think we're in I think we're in and I really want to use this set uh, the CVRs um, just because they're better than that one they, they just everything just operates a lot nicer and it's it's smoother this is all a bit clunky and a bit graunchy and it's nasty looking so I ain't gonna fix them I'm going to rob them though because some of the screws on this is shocking. I've got all different ones across here holding the, the choke assembly on. Um, diaphragms and things like that. I don't know if you get diaphragms in the kit. I don't think you do. I think it's just like O-rings and you know stuff like that. Um, but if I need to rob stuff I'll just rob stuff. Um, the problem with this well, the reason why I was taken off the bike is basically it just peed fuel out of it. So what I think has happened is it's going to be something like a punctured float. So the float has just sunk and the fuel just keeps filling up the bowl and eventually it just pees out. Or it's going to be a torn diaphragm or you know, it's, it's maybe the, the needle or the seat on the float. Maybe that's knackered. That is in the kit. <laughs> it's going to be something stupid like that. So I'm having these apart. We're going to clean them up. I ain't going to do like a proper spritz and polish job on it. I just want to clean them up so mechanically they work. And I can get them back on the bike and get the stupid thing running. That's that's the goal. Hence this. So, oh yeah, where is it? Um, 
it's in here, there we go. So that's what's in there. It's about a 10 to one mix. Fibrotech parts washer fluid, ultrasonic cleaner concentrate. So it's just like a detergent, basically like a degreaser. But anyway, that's gone in there at a 10 to one mix and it's warming up, it's getting there. Um, and we're just gonna pull all this lot apart, hoof it through that lot, try and put it back together again and get it going. Um, I haven't got a manual. <laughs> Probably should have got one of them. I got one for Steve-O's bike. Yeah, I ain't got one for my own. So I've ordered one and I ordered it ages ago. And he reckons it's been delivered. Well, I ain't got it. <laughs> and it ain't here. I can't go and check in the office because the office is shut because of the coronavirus. So, um, yeah, I'll be Googling stuff, I think, as far as setups go. Because... I mean, the, the float needles, you know, the needle positions and all that other stuff, it should all be as it is. But it's things like the um, air fuel mixture screws, well, they're all set differently. <laughs> <laughs> That's a start off a 10. Um, so it's, you know, it's stuff like this sort of adjustment that I need to get right. And then we're gonna have to sink them and everything else. So I've got to get some of that sorted. I've got loads to do. Right. Enough chat, let's get on with it. Idle adjuster. Ooh, don't be dropping stuff. Goon. Right, so that's the idle adjuster off. So these carbs ain't the ones that was on the bike when I got it. Um I'll take this. Online. Why won't that one come on? I'll get that one off later. Yeah, these aren't the ones that came off the um, came off the bike when I stripped it down. This is the original set. And the problem was that one of the car I'm not sure which one it was, um, but one of the one of the carbs was uh, leaking. It was it was just overflowing like anything. So what I want to do is just start by having it all apart. Are oh, you cow? Don't start being stupid. We've only just started. <laughs> there we go, there's one. There we are. This is not gonna be a how-to. This is just me doing it, all right? So, I mean, they're already marked up here, actually. Where is it? Yeah, so one, two, three, four. I haven't got any of those little posh plastic pots. I've got cardboard boxes. <laughs> so anything I'll take off of it is just going in a box for that particular carb, and I'll sort it out as I go sort of thing. What I'm probably going to do is, um, after, I just want to have the bottoms off and have a look at the floats, and also have have the diaphragms out the top and have a squint at all that lot. I'll split the bank and then um, it's all gonna go through the, the cleaner. It's quite clean, look. Can you see in there? It's not covered up in goo and everything else. Float's not full of fuel. That's all right then. Them out. It looks really clean in there. Float needle don't look too bad. There's no goo in there. Well, that's a start off a 10, isn't it? So far, not horrible. So I've got main jet and pilot jet. Um, they're coming in the new kit anyway.
Oh, it's got a hole in it. Um, actually, there's my sockets. So I haven't got a manual, which is a massive pain. That's the motion to it. Nothing's necessarily horrible. Chewed up screws. Completely mullered. Yes. Right, so put them apart. All I've done is took the off the bottoms, obviously the float bowls come off. Um, this is the um, air fuel mixture screw, basically. So it's like a it's like a little grub screw that you wind out. It's got a needle on it. There's also a spring, then a tiny little washer, and then there's an O-ring. And there's O-rings buried in each of these that I've got to dig out. That's going to be interesting because you can't get to it from the other side, obviously. I've only got these little picks. I need to get one of those dental sets. Um, but they need to come out. So they're still in there at the minute. And now I'm just taking the the needles and diaphragms and all that malarkey out. Um, so far, there's no holes in any of the diaphragms. Needles are filthy. Slides are grubby as. Um, and half the screws don't want to undo. 
<laughs> like they did, like this one, just chewed out. So I'm able to stick it in a vise and tap it with a hammer just to try and shock it free. Come on, there you go. Um, but so far, nothing is broke. Which is, oh, come on, you cock. Right, back in the vise. <laughs> Um, I don't like bashing stuff like this, I really don't. But, it's got to come off. So he's having it. <laughs> I think one of my O-rings just fell out. <laughs> Come on. Again, don't really like doing it this way, but impact driver, at least it gives it a little bit of rotation when you knock it. Oh, hello, what was that? Oh, don't do that. Just dropped it. Again, no splits in the diaphragm. Sweet. Right in each of them. Right, we are getting there. We'll guide you out. Right. Take rail off. Where did that fucking thing go? Right, first minor problem. <laughs> Come on, where is it? Um, the needles. Where the needle goes through the the um, uh, body of the car, but go through this little guide. <laughs> and like an absolute goon, I didn't pull it out before I knocked it on the on the vice to loosen that nut up. One of them's come out and I don't know where it's gone. Was it, there's a law about this, isn't there? Sod's law. The smallest and most important piece will ping itself off somewhere into an inaccessible corner of the workshop and you're never going to see it again until you get another one. <laughs> I'll be all right, I'll just rob it off the other set. That's fine, but I do have to be careful. See, it has been a while. Little things like, I thought they came out from the other side. 
They don't, they go in the bottom. <sighs> Never mind. Never mind, we'll be all right, we'll be all right. So I'm just making sure everything else is all good, which we seem to be. I've got the O-rings out, so they're all nice and clear in there. It's all the way through there, that's all fine. Right, I need a little screwdriver to get those other jets out. In mind. Come on. You're coming off. I don't care if you don't want to come off. You're coming off. Someone's just put all manner of hoses on these and just bunged it up with a... Well, that one's not bunged up. <laughs> that ain't going to be happy, is it? Um, this one has got a cap on it. That one has got a proper cap on. Same as the other carbs. And this one is just a tube with a bolt shoved in the end. <laughs> I'm annoyed I lost that little bit though. That really is annoying. I should have checked. I should have checked. I'm, I'm, once I strip that lot down and pull it out of one of them, I'm going to find the bugger. I know I am. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Perished as hell as well. When I get a need must, you're going to do stuff like that, but I mean. <laughs> there, bide. Right. So, choke return, spring. Come on, off you come. You don't be pinging off anywhere. Oh, let's do it from that side, don't we? That's a bit better. He's all right. And there. And there. I'm trying to stay organised. If I don't, I'm just going to get in a right pickle. I'm going to need an Allen key for that one because they didn't have a screw, so they stuck an Allen key in it. See, I'll keep looking for that bit. <laughs> Bloody hell! Let's um, have a go at splitting them. Is it that one? Yes. Right then. This will all go through the washer, I think. Yeah, it's only the bolt goes all the way through to keep it all together, but even this has got schmoo and all that white junk and stuff on it. So it's all gonna go through it. Once I get it all apart, then I'll have the 
choke mechanisms out of each of the carbs. I just want to try and get as much off as I can, really. It coming apart like that. <laughs> There's the other one. Yeah, that's all right. This is obviously the master one, so it's it, this is the one that links into the the throttle body, you know, the throttle cable. So this should pop apart in pretty much the same violent manner as the others did. There we go. Okay. Four separate carbs. I probably ain't gonna take the butterfly springs. There's, there's no point in taking the butterfly springs off. Not really. Um, we will have the fuel pipes out of it though. O-rings on them are horrible. It's just grot, that's all it is. It's just grot and nastiness. That's that one. That's that one. And that's that one. One set of carbs all split. Uh, right, I do want to take the choke assembly out of each of them as well just to make sure all that's clean and then one by one um everything in plastic for one carburetor is going to go in the cleaner i'll give it four minutes or five minutes or something like that pull it out and just have a quick check over and see because i'm not sure some of these um uh cleaning solutions you put alley in them and if you leave it in there too long it sort of attacks it it all goes dark and horrible and nasty and blah 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 so we're going to get you know clean as we can uh, i'll get a toothbrush out and give it a scrub down and all that sort of stuff as well and then um depending on how they are after five minutes they might go back in again oh i need to get those off as well i need to rob them off that but yeah so carbs in pieces <laughs> There we are. Just don't really want to shove plastic doodads through the through the washer. in there no wonder it's having troubles right let's see how we go then Pong him in oh 
Right. Um, minutes. Six minutes. Oh, it's finished. Right. Have a look. This is six minutes. Oh, that's better. That's a lot better, actually. Well, it hasn't dulled it up. It's certainly got all the grot and shit and crap and everything else off of it. You compare them. I think it could probably do with going through it again, um, if I'm honest. But the grime and crap and everything else is just not there anymore. We are liking this. We are liking this quite a lot. Um, I'm going to shove it through again. I'm just conscious that if, if I put it through too much, um, then it could end up getting all, you know, getting dark and all that sort of stuff. So what I'm probably going to do is dunk it in, in the solution. I'm going to give it a scrub with a toothbrush, just because it's agitation, isn't it? Um, but it's clean as a whistle. All the grot and goo and muck and bits of stuff and uh, is it's all gone. Um, it is lovely and clean. It's, I mean, this isn't as you know bright as a new one, I suppose, but that ain't bad. That ain't bad at all. So yeah, I'm going to give it um, give it a quick brush up with a toothbrush just to get some of these stubborn bits off. Just because whilst I've got it in pieces like this, I might as well. I'll shove it through again. I'll probably give it. I don't know. Oh no, same same again, I suppose. Um, and then we'll give it a, a rinse off with fresh water, blow it dry, and I'm gonna call that one done. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, hello. <laughs> right. Let's see how we are. Oh, that don't look too bad. Right, let me go and give it a quick rinse and I'll show you what we got. <laughs> I'm still looking for that thing. <laughs> that little guide. <laughs> I did rob one out of the other set of carbs just to replace it because I dropped it. And I can't help but keep looking for it. <laughs> right then. Look at that. That's come up a treat. Um, by comparison, before and after. It's good, isn't it? These little ultrasonic basses, I mean, they're, they're not expensive. They're really, really not. Um, I was tempted to get a bigger one than this, um, just because I could stick a whole bank of carbs in, you know, without the need to split them. And you think, well, if you're going to all the trouble of cleaning them out, then you really want to split the banks and do the job properly. And so I only got that one, I, you know, fairly small one. What is it about? A, I don't know how big it is, actually. Maybe nine, 10 litres in it or something. Something like that. They're not expensive. Um, that was going for six minutes, I think. And this is the, this is the product of it, look. How clean is that? All the goo and schmutz and nastiness is gone. Um, all the little bits of junk and, it's still a bit wet in there, hang on. Right. 
So yeah, I am impressed with this. And you can see so much more. For example, on the inside where the butterflies come down and sit, there's a little line there. Can you see that? Um, that was just covered in crap and everything. You couldn't see any of that before. There's the little holes in the Venturi and stuff as well. How good is that? That is clean as a whistle. That is lovely. Well, if they all come out like that, I'm going to be well impressed. This is going to work a treat on Stevo's calves as well. Because obviously we need to strip all them down and get them sorted out. Although I think, he, did he say, you know, oh no, he's sorting out another set of carbs, isn't he? Um, yeah, I'm impressed. Oh, I'm liking that. What else can I shove through? Do I actually, do I do all the bodies first and then the bit? I might do that. Let's get the next one in. Right, this is the last little lot that's going through the the ultrasonic bath. Basically, I put all the emulsion tubes and main jets and uh, all that sort of stuff through here. Uh, the little chokes. Just trying to give it a bit of a spritz up, basically. If you're in there cleaning it, then you might as well. There's loads of grime in the bottom of this. You could do another scrub. Um, also, I had a go at the bike as well. I've wiped it all down with um, WD and just, you know, not the worst of it off, basically. Um, but I find that when you're going over a bike and cleaning it, you're physically looking at it, because um, you're looking where you're cleaning, obviously. Um, and you spot all sorts of little bits and pieces. So there's, there's quite a few bolts that we're missing, so I found some spares and shoved them in. Um, one of the frame bolts on the breakaway frame, on a band at the right side and the the bar that goes underneath it, you can unbolt it from the frame to get the engine out. It's supposed to make it easier. I don't think it does. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't, it probably does. Um, but yeah, one of them was missing. So I need to get another one sorted. So for now, I've robbed one out of Steve-O's bike. <laughs> Shh, don't tell him. Don't tell him. Be a nice little surprise, eh, when he has a go on it. <laughs> <laughs> now I'll get another one sent through. Uh, I just need to get one ordered, basically. But um, it's there. His bike ain't going to be on the road anytime soon. There's still a truckload to do there. Um, and depending how things go with this virus, I might have more time on it than I thought I was going to. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, um, I don't think he's going to get much cleaner. Nah, stuff it. Nothing's coming off. Right, um, so yeah, I robbed that off his bike. I did tell him, he didn't mind. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Um, apparently I've had some deliveries at home, which is awesome. We do like it when stuff turns up, it's like Christmas. <laughs> so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, I'm hoping one of the, I'm hoping it's going to be the carb kit and the paint for the calipers. Um, pom, pom, pom. So what I think I'm going to do, just to get a bit of a jump on it, I mean, I've got the uh, best part of two hours here. I think what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to reassemble the carbs, but just do it loosely. I ain't gonna do anything up massively because when the kit comes, a lot of the O-rings and everything else is all gonna get replaced and whatnot. And obviously the um, O-rings for the, uh, where it goes through the um, needle seats and stuff, they're out anyway. Um, so it's all gonna need to be replaced. But if it's all together, I stand less chance of losing stuff. <laughs> I've already lost one little thing. I I'm, still can't find it. I'll keep looking. As soon as this goes back together, it's gonna to turn up. I know it is. On the way, just go back in the other carbs in that case. Oh, the other carbs. 
I'm glad I decided to do these and not those. <laughs> <laughs> Was, when I robbed the bit out of it, it's, it's got Allen bolts holding the, the, um, uh, the float bowls on. Went to undo one, one bolt snapped off in the casting for the carbs. Oh, bloody hell, here we go. Carried on going, did another one, that one snapped. <laughs> Imagine trying to drill them out and get them out without any extractors. So yeah, I'm glad I went for this lot. Um, but I think we're in. We're going to have everything that we need. Um, started cleaning up things like the needles. Um, and I need to find the settings for them. As far as the needle heights and stuff goes, there is only one set. You can't move it up and down on these. Um, essentially, you just squeeze that and pull it out. Come on. There you go. Um, and the needle just sort of pops out. Like that. And that's it, this this is just like a plastic thing with a diaphragm on top. All the diaphragms are good, uh, and they're not replaceable on these either. So, oh, what is it? Oh yeah, you can pop them off. Um, but yeah, they're all good, there's no splits or anything, so I'm not sure if I'm getting those in the service kit. Don't know. If I get, if I get some, I'll just use them anyway. Um, anything that comes in that kit is going on the bike. There we go. Um, so, yeah, that's all sweet, but you can't change the needle set. And I need to find the base settings for this as well. I'm gonna have to Google it because I ain't got a manual. So this is like for the, you know, air fuel mixture and stuff like that. So uh, I'm gonna spend a bit of time on Google. I'm gonna set things up basically how they should be and get everything back together loosely that way when the kits get here I can just have the bits out that I need to replace jobs are good and then it can all go back on the bike um, I ain't gonna bother with a choke cable just yet I mean you can operate it by hand it's not an issue um, what else was there oh I need to get the clamps the clamps that secure the carbs to the air box and also to the boots on the engine, they're just, I mean they work but they're horrible. Let me show you. They are just manky as hell. They're all rust, oh my god, I can't be doing them there. Basically they're just rusty and nasty looking. Um, so I think I'm gonna, it's, it's easiest to do it now, isn't it? Um, so I'm just gonna get some. Yeah, I'm just going to get some and stick them on. Because it's all in bits anyway. So yeah, that's what I'm doing now. <laughs> ah, fun and games, fun and games. Right, 